the road warriors are bikes that are built to fucking handle anything. Yeah, so we got our touring bikes out this year. And uh, you know what, it's mid-afternoon, which kind of sucks because we were hoping to get going earlier today. But chores, had to clean the van, uh, take care of some stuff. Chris worked all morning, bummer, eh, sweet? Yeah. Uh, but that's life on the road when you're still kind of tethered to back home and still doing things on, you know, for your job back home. But we came here, we're at Joyful Journeys RV Park uh, on the Cabot Trail that's in uh, Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. Whew, that was a lot, <laughs> but I got through it. So that's where we are. Uh, I showed you a quick view. Check it out. Look at where Stevie is. And we had a couple neighbors this morning. Look at this. We have this whole little uh, nook to ourselves. Maybe not for the whole day. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so we're going to set out now and we're going to cycle some of the Cabot Trail, the famous Cabot Trail. And if you don't know what the Cabot Trail is, look it up. It's pretty badass. And uh, we'll bring you along and show you the sights that we see as we go. Anything to add to our ride today? No. I'm stoked. Hey, she's stoked. I love it. You know what else we are? A little chilly. Look at us. Yeah. It's actually May 30th today or 31st. 31st. So we're almost in the June. But out here on uh, East Coast, eh? Um, <laughs> she's a bit cold today. So yeah, we're, we're dressed for success and not to impress. You know what I mean? Let's get on the road. <laughs> out here on the east coast. Shit, they weren't kidding. That's laid back. What's going on? I have this thing that I can't seem to get rid of. Diabetes. And we just left five minutes ago and they let you in was ridiculous. While she's recovering, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of my gadget bike. I've decked this thing out. <laughs> Check it out. It's got a bell for a multi-use pass. I got the uh, E-Trex 20 on here with the, my maps on it. Got a 500 lumen light under here. My full tool kit back here. Rear light's rocking. And you know what else is rocking? Our little boom box. Uh, cutting out. My phone's too far away. Yeah. I know, right? Contraption caption. Captain, she says. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna go for a little cruise and we got some tunes today. All right, head out on the cabin trail. Now what's going on? Let's see, it's been... 40 minutes? Yeah, about that. And now my blood sugar's taking It's just one of those days. Yeah.
much for us to ride. Not on this trip. 300k is a lot. Oh well. Uh, we left Joyful Journeys and we're on our way to Chetty Camp National Park, which is uh, just a Parks Canada park. We got a spot there tonight and we're going to do some riding. Um, we should look up where the Skyline Trail is because we want to hit the Skyline Trail, which is like a I think it was like a five or six kilometer loop that's right on the coast so that you see this the whole way uh, but right now we got to climb up that and uh, it looks like a lot of switchbacks but old stevie can make it should be no problem all right let's see what we see today out on the coast of nova scotia here in cape breton bunch of fishing boats. Uh, there's some more over there. Actually, they're lobster boats. And there's all kinds of uh, different colored floaters out there in the water. Um, that's for all the different lobster traps belonging to the different boats. And they basically just drive around and pull one up, check for lobster, rebate it, drop it down. Um, but I never would have thought that I would have driven all the way out here and be surprised by the smell. I wish you could capture this on a GoPro. And this is fresh, like I've never smelled fresh before. Like fresh sea air. Oh, it's wonderful. We are we are on the ocean. This is the Atlantic Ocean. We are here on Canada's coast, the East Coast, man, maritime, and uh, beautiful uh, for sure. Cape Breton is unbelievable. You can see all the cliffs over there. It's been a really cool coastal drive, but the thing that I'm just blown away by is the smell, like. It's like I'm trying to just take it in and shove it into some sort of like smell memory bank so that I can recall it later. It's, it's, oh man, it's beautiful. Just gorgeous out here. And this was worth the drive just to, just to have this smell. I would actually probably drive all this way again later just to recover this. Oh man, I hope these people haven't been desensitized to it. They probably have. They probably just go, yeah, that's what it smells like. Well, come and live in Hamilton for a little while. You'll learn to appreciate this big time. Okay, that's like my last big sniff. We gotta get back into Stevie and uh, keep on trucking. Lots to do today. This is absolutely beautiful. These uh, huge vistas that we keep passing on the, the highway. Um, there's, you know what, there's literally like these lookout points to get a photo every, every kilometer, it feels like. And if you stopped at every one, it would take you like days to get around here. But um, I'm a city boy. And for me, I've said this since the beginning, I think it came from skateboarding, you know, just uh, finding like beauty in an urban environment so i totally get this and this is blowing my mind and it's beautiful but for me it's a lot of trees uh it's some water over there um but uh i don't know trees and water uh don't give me uh as Hard much ones? of a thrill yeah as as like you know um when you saw the footage of old quebec city like that's the stuff that blows my mind is what people have created the buildings the architecture the layout of a city, all the cool stuff to see, people watching, that's the kind of stuff I like. So, you know, this is fucking beautiful Hi, for sure. Me. What's that? Me life. Yeah, so this is beautiful, but uh, yeah, you know what? It's super awesome to come out to these places, but I'm a theme park junkie. I'm a skateboarder. I'm an urban guy. I live in a, in a busy city, so to me, that feels like home. This is a beautiful break. Um, and uh, I'm glad we're capturing some of these memories to see. 
But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because I know a lot of people come out here and they're just like, this is the end all be all. And for me, this is like, I don't know if I would come back to the cabin trail. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, um, but good to see once maybe. And this is a huge cycling destination, uh, as we mentioned, I think yesterday when we headed out on the bikes. And man, it would be a, ugh, fuck. look at the video of some of the, the hills and stuff we've been climbing. It's tough on the van. I couldn't imagine um, cycling it. Uh, it would be really hard to cycle. You'd be you'd be making pretty short distances in a day, I think. 100 100k even with uh, no no racks and no bags on your your bike would be insane, I think. I think that's normally people will do it in three days. It's yeah. pretty common. That's huge, man. I mean, maybe last year or the year before when we were really riding a lot, we could do it, but not now. And you know what? The roads, a lot of the roads too, are pretty narrow, and there's no bike path. There's bike path on parts, but not all of it. So I feel like you'd be. Uh, You'd be risking your life, man, because people are flying around here too. It's 80K on this road, it's crazy. Anyway, let's get back in Stevie and hit the road again. We're trying to get to the Skyline Trail and it's been taken forever because of all these stops. All right, we'll see you there. Right. Well, one of the things we had on our list to do was the Skyline Trail. Uh, just because it looks pretty badass when I did some research. What? Just asking, just trying to get you to slow down. Oh, you know me. Full speed ahead all the time. Especially when the camera's going. Um, but sadly, according to that sign, it means no dogs on the trail. It, it kind of looks like a blob to me, but I think it's representing a dog, so... Oh well, dogs are crated back up. We got the AC running in the van for them. It's only a 9.2k loop now that we found out, so we should be able to do that in around an hour or so. It depends on how much climbing there is. All right, let's go check out the Skyline Trail. Sands dogs, unfortunately. We'll take them out later, I guess, when we get to uh, Chetty Camp, which is where we're staying tonight at the campground. All right, let's go hit the trail. Fairmail a bush. That's huge. Fuck this shit. You know what? Seriously, this is the kind of shit that pisses me off. We pull in, they don't allow dogs in the trail. Eh, all right, we take the time, get the AC out and running and all that stuff. Then there's not even a single fucking sign saying that the main fucking part of the loop here is closed. So that was like a 15 minute run. That's nothing for us. We wanted a good run today. So I'm a little bummed. Parks Canada, shame on you, man. Let's get some signage. If we knew that it was just like we were going to be out here for 30 minutes, I don't know. We probably would have just skipped it and said, let's go find a different trail. On top of the fact that it's really just a gravel path, which is really kind of boring. Yeah, it's not super cool, but there's a little boardwalk here. Let's see where it goes. Maybe, maybe there's a bit of wow factor at the end, I hope. really small right now. Not bad, 
side, we have a little babbling brook beside us. We're all set up here. We're at Chetty Camp in uh, Cape Breton. It's a national park, Parks Canada. And this is where we are tonight. So uh, a little more comfortable than our usual Walmarts, but hey, you can't, uh, can't rough it every day, you know? Sometimes no you gotta Walmart's have some luxury. Cape Breton Highlands National Park. Otherwise, that's where we'd be staying. It's true, we probably would. But we got our inflatable couches all laid out. We got the awning up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. my mom hooked us up with these for Christmas. Thanks again, Mom. First time we busted them out to use them, so. Hey, we got the awning set up and we're getting bit to shit by little bugs, little gnats, but that's the way it goes. We've had a long day and we're seriously just laying back for the, uh, the rest of the day here at Chetty Camp. So yeah, that's it. There's the campground. Uh, it's quiet this time of year because in Cape Breton, uh, it's June 1st today. This is still really early in the tourist season, so. All right, I'm gonna go get some bug spray on. I'm gonna kick back, relax, edit some video, and hang out. <sighs> we'll see you tomorrow when we drive out of this place. <laughs> Not fart gun. Not the fart gun. What's up? I bought a little mini projector for the van. This thing is awesome. I love it. We're watching Despicable Me on the ceiling of our road trek. <laughs> All right, that's it for Chetty Camp. We are heading out today and we are we're sucking it up today. It is a huge drive day. It's going to be like 12 to 14 hours of stops guaranteed. So it's about 8 in the morning now. We've uh, kind of got up and just we were sort of meandering around, not getting going as fast as we could, but uh, we left the window open to sleep last night, and I fucking froze my ass off, so I didn't sleep so well. Um, yeah, you can see it's a rainy, cold, windy day. It's probably like friggin' 10 degrees out here. It's pretty cold, and it's rainy, and it's miserable. Perfect for a drive day. We had fucking amazing weather every day that we've done something on this trip, as you've seen. Uh, so you know what? For it to rain on a drive day, thumbs up that's cool i can take that no problem yeah again peace out thanks parks canada this was actually a really good place to stop and we had an awesome warm shower last night so uh, i forgot to tarp up the bikes last night so they're kind of soaked but i'm going to do that now and uh, off we go and we'll catch some footage from the road see you on the road to charlottetown prince edward island